Monday night. I wasn't really planning on vlogging this week, but then we got an email saying that we can go try our scrubs anytime this week, and we also have an immersion. So, oh, and I have a final. Um, so I figure this would be a fun week, fun week to vlog. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go try on the scrub, and it'll just be a busy week studying. I have my patho final on Friday and then my paper for my culture and spirituality class is due Sunday. Yeah. So, so that's what we got to look forward to for the week. Um, I'm gonna head to bed soon so I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> driving right now and I was like dang I'm kind of hungry and then I realized I left my waffles in the toaster so I guess I'll have those when I get back home that I left here. I'm super tired so I'm going to make a coffee and then I'll put my groceries away. I have pumpkin pie syrup and vanilla syrup. I think I'm gonna go for a vanilla latte with oat milk. So let's make that. mug so I just grabbed some things to last me through like the rest of the week since I have a final um, these are a lot of these are kind of just staples that I try to always have and I go through pretty quickly blueberry waffles that's what I left in my toaster this morning I love those blueberry waffles and then I love the paneer chicken tikka mas or paneer tikka masala so good I don't like the chicken ones because I don't really like meat I'm not a fully vegetarian or anything but I just prefer not to eat meat it kind of grosses me out and then chana masala also love this and then i have the frozen trader joe's nons that i eat with those this oh my gosh if you have not tried this you need to go get this now the butternut squash mac and cheese has been my favorite thing that they bring every single fall for like three or four years now i started getting them like my second or third year of college and I got all my friends addicted to it <laughs> me and my roommates would literally like our whole freezer would just be full of these because we'd stock up and when I was checking out the guy was like oh my gosh those are so good have you had it and I was like yes like I've been obsessed for years and he told me that he bought a whole he ordered an extra case and took the whole case home with him or like bought the whole case and he thought it would last him the whole year and it did not so that's a, a sign from me and that Trader Joe's worker to go try that. And then I got this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip to try because I have like some crackers and I wanted a dip for it. I've been eating so much hummus and don't want any more. And then I saw this pumpkin spice creamy cashew yogurt. So it's used with cashew milk. 
I wanted to try that out. And then just some broccoli and carrots. I like to just like have some of my favorite vegetables. Um, I like to just have them so I can roast them. That's pretty much all I eat is roasted vegetables. Got some bananas. I got two sweet potatoes. These are also a staple. Sweet potatoes, broccoli, carrots, um, garbanzo beans, and kale. I pretty much always have in my fridge and I go through so fast. And then I also got some strawberry jam preserves. I don't really know the difference. Um, I got some of that to have with my English muffins because I love English muffins with some jam. And that is it. I just did a little restock. guys today i've just been sitting here with my laptop um doing practice questions all day that's kind of been like how i'm studying for this exam um so our final is a hesse and we have a, like elsevier adaptive quizzing i don't know if everyone has this or i don't know um but this is just what like our school provides us our school provides us like all severe things and that's where all of our textbooks and everything are um and it's super helpful because it like gives you so many questions and it tells you how well you're doing in like each chapter um and then if you get something wrong or right it'll explain like why that was the wrong or right answer and so I'm finding that this is like such a good way to study. So if your school does um, give you like adaptive quizzing or anything like this, like definitely do it because I found that this is what's helped me a lot on my last exams. I'll also make a video like just specifically about how I've studied for patho and like, and then we have our immersion at 6 p.m and it's four o'clock right now and I'm getting so tired. So I'm just like, should I drink some of my Starbucks? Oh, I just like have not talked to you guys at all today. So I went to Starbucks earlier because it was buy one, get one half off. So I got a hot caramel macchiato that I drank this morning. And then I got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew for like later or tomorrow or whatever so maybe i'll have a few sips of that i don't want to drink too much but our immersions from six to nine which i go to bed pretty early so that's kind of late for me um and then and then i work tomorrow from seven to twelve seven to twelve thirty um so tomorrow I'm gonna have to be up pretty early. Today's been like super boring and just doing a lot of quizzing and studying. I don't know how much of my immersion I'll be able to show you guys, but hopefully I'll have some fun information to share with you all. Um, we're supposed to find out more about like going in person and like our labs and all of that because we start that next week. 
so I'm definitely excited to get all of that figured out and we're also going to go over um just everything we need to have in order to be on campus also I don't know if I've mentioned it in this video but next quarter we're doing fundamentals of nursing um and then we have the lab for that and then and then we're taking patho or I'm doing path right now. And then we're taking pharmacology. So it's going to be a bit of a heavier load, but it's definitely going to be more like exciting than patho because patho is pretty fun, but I'm excited to like, I don't know, just kind of be like hands-on in person, like in our labs and stuff. Although I'm scared for pharmacology. So I don't know. I'm not that great at memorizing things. I feel like that's definitely not my strong suit. Um, I think I like patho a lot because it's very like logical like one thing happens the next thing and the next thing like you can kind of think your way through it and root words have helped so much in patho but in farm I don't really know if there's root words and if there are like I don't know them um so it's kind of something that like I don't know a lot about which makes me a little bit nervous but I'm still excited. So I'm gonna finish some more questions and get through a few more chapters and then I'll see you before immersion. <music> Good morning, happy Thursday. It's almost 6.30 and I'm about to head to work. It's so cold. I do not want to get out of my car. It says it's 54 degrees outside and I work, it's like outside in like a little hut shack kind of thing. And I don't want to leave my heater and my seat warmer. We gotta go. I'm about to start closing at work. I made myself a caramel macchiato, and yep. So I just got off work. Um, I'm kind of tired. I don't really want to go home and study right now, but the good thing is it was pretty dead today. Um, it was like busy in the morning, I think because like it's a weekday. A lot of people were like in work or at school versus I normally work like Fridays and Saturday, Sunday, so like the weekends where more people are like off. Um, so it's a lot more crazy then. But the good thing is that I had a lot of like downtime to be able to study. So I got a good amount of studying done while I was there. I'm gonna go home, eat. I'll probably relax for a little bit just because like I don't want to jump straight into studying. Um, plus, I've earned a, a break. My finals tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I'm kind of like just ready to get it done with. Here's my dilemma. Um, I stayed up pretty late last night. I just could not fall asleep. And then I woke up. Well, okay. Here's a dilemma. I stayed up pretty late last night until like 1130, which is pretty late for me. I usually go to bed at like nine or 10 at the latest. So that was already kind of rough. And then I woke up at 5.30 this morning to get ready for work, to be there on time. So I'm pretty tired. I tried to take a nap. That's why like my makeup's all smudged and stuff. Press juice where it is. I'm back home now. I only almost died twice. We were crossing the street and we got four juices and it was in the bag and I was carrying the bag and I was drinking my drinking one of my juices so it was in my hand and then so there was three juices in the bag and it was like a good sized bag as you saw and we were crossing the street and then like out of no we were crossing the street and then out of nowhere the bag broke open and all the juices dropped out of the bag um so yeah that was an experience and i was like good thing we weren't jaywalking or anything because 
cars probably would have hit us or been kind of mad at us. But anyways, I'm being dramatic. Um, but it was super funny. Like we were literally just like, we both just like stopped and was like, what the heck just happened? And then, um, we were walking like towards our apartment and then like a car was doing like a U-turn. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, so it's just like a street, but it's kind of like a smaller street. It's like a cul-de-sac. And then instead of going to the end and like at the cul-de-sac and turning around, the person like turned around in the middle of the street and like they were going so fast and they like literally came like straight at me. Like they got so close to me and I literally was like, oh my God, like this is how I'm going to die. Like I'm literally going to get hit by this minivan and that's it. Like that's how I go. And then I was joking with my housemate about how she is no Edward Cullen. She would not jump in front of a plane for me or jump in front of a bullet for me because she watched the van come at me and didn't say anything or do anything. And I was like, thanks for that. You're a real one. Um, yeah. So, oh, I got a uh, celery juice, which is what I'm drinking right now. And then I got the greens too, I believe. Um, I'm going to read the chapter summaries and then call it a night. It's almost seven o'clock. So I want to have, I want to go to bed pretty early um our exam is at nine but we have to log into the zoom at 8 30. so uh, yeah wish me luck i'll see you in the morning i kind of forgot i was vlogging until right now um it's 8 30. we are about to log into our zoom at 8 45. I have just been kind of like taking a chill morning. Um, I woke up early. I did some yoga. I had some breakfast. Got some Starbucks. Which I'm drinking now. I'm trying not to drink too much coffee just because like it does make me pretty anxious. So I'm already kind of and I'm already kind of nervous, so I don't want to, like, get too anxious during my exam. But yeah, I've just been sitting here and kind of going over a little bit of, um, I've just been reading the, like, chapter summaries from my textbook. Um, I find those are actually really, like, helpful, and I like them a lot because it, like, breaks everything down into, like, the bare basics, and, like, it's just a good, like, summary I guess I don't know I find that easier to read than like a super long lengthy paragraph that it's like what was the main point of this reading the chapter summaries is a super good way to review at least for me because it just kind of is like this disease is this this and this it's like very straight to the point and kind of summarizes everything into like a sentence and it's kind of nice to see everything like all the different diseases within one system next to each other instead of like so spread out um it kind of helps it like absorb better for me but i'm trying to not be nervous i feel like reviewing before the exam makes me more nervous so i'm trying not to but i don't really have much else to do right now so i'm like okay maybe it'll like give me like one more right answer or something i don't know i even like did my makeup a little bit um my skin isn't too bad right now so i was able to do like a no makeup makeup kind of thing well for me this is my skin being good i will see you after my exam so uh, my exam was a little bit harder than i was expecting it to be but turned out better than i was expecting it to be i'm just going to relax edit this video and i need to clean my room for the rest of the day. I also work tomorrow, so I wanna relax as much as I can today. So, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.